So let's say business is going well and it's got a product, uh, it can produce it a profit, and people want it and it's got growth prospects. Of course it can expand across place, it can go into various markets, other markets in its home country, it can cross national borders and this becomes the study of international business and uh, what conditions and in what ways do firms expand across borders and that's a topic for another day. But there's also some other ways that the business can expand. It can expand by function. Invariably, when a business starts, it starts small. It has a product it wants to make, and it has maybe some very particular know-how to make that product, but it sources many of the key things used to make that product from a range of other companies. Now, it may run into a whole range of what we call supply-side problems uh, as it starts to expand. It may find that it's actually being held up, being taken advantage of by its suppliers who know that precisely because the business is growing rapidly, there are lots of customers waiting for its product, that therefore uh, the company has to pay quite a lot of money uh, or will, will be prepared to pay a lot of money to secure necessary inputs. One solution to this is to actually take control of your own supply chain, to buy the providers of the inputs uh, that you need for your business. We see an example of this with Apple. Apple has been very much dependent on several large companies that manufactures computer chips, the key processors. But Apple is, invest in is investing in developing its own processors.